Welcome to our demonstration on how to back up and restore a vSphere distributed switch. In this demo, we will back up a distributed switch from one vCenter server and restore it to another vCenter server instance. Begin by logging onto the vSphere web client and going into the networking section. We click on the distributed switch to view the existing topology. We then right click on distributed switch, go to all vCenter actions, and click on export configuration. We retain the default selection to export the switch and all of its port groups, provide a description for the export task, and click OK. When this window pops up, click on Yes to save the file to your local machine. Assign a name to the backup file, select the location, and click on Save. Note that you need to save the file as a zipped file. Make sure that you do not change the format. You will not be able to import the file if it's saved in a different format. Also note that the backup is captured as a binary file that cannot be edited. We then go to a second vCenter server, which we have accessed using the web client on another browser tab, and we go to the networking section. Notice that the inventory here is empty. We begin by creating a data center. Right-click on the vCenter server name and click on New Data Center. Give it a name and click OK. Note that the VDS is a data center object, and any host inside that data center can use that distributed switch. With the data center object created, we can now go ahead and import the backed up distributed switch. We right click on the data center, go to All vCenter Actions, and click on Import Distributed Switch. Click on Browse and locate the backup zipped file which was named backup.zip. Select the file and click on Open. Click on Next, verify the information, and then click on Finish. This will import our configuration that we just exported from vCenter 01 into vCenter 02. Monitor the progress on the Recent Tasks column. Once the task has been successfully completed, we can see the distributed switch in the inventory. We can also see that all of our port groups are also listed in the inventory. We go into the Manage tab and notice that the topology contains all the port groups and uplinks, and the lag which we created earlier are intact. Another feature of backup and restore functionality is the ability to recover a single port group. To demonstrate this, we switch to the first vCenter server. End via a secure shell we connect to our virtual machine, web01.vmware.local, which is on the VM Net1 port group. We verify that the connection is successful. We will now make a change that inadvertently interrupts the network communication and see how easily we can revert that back. We go to VM Net1 and click on Edit. We'll change the VLAN ID from 30 to 3001 and observe the effects. We go back to the console and notice that the SSH session is locked up because of the change we had made. We open a new console and ping the VM. We see that the connection requests are timing out, as expected. To restore the port group to its previous state, we right-click on the port group, go to All vCenter Actions, and click on Restore Configuration. Once on the Restore Configuration window, select Restore to Previous Configuration and click Next, and click Finish. Once the restore has been done, we will see that the pings start to return responses. We go back to the SSH session and see that it is active and responsive again. This concludes our demonstration on how to back up and restore a vSphere distributed switch. Thank you.